Welcome to ScriptCase, the low-code platform to help you build dynamic web applications quickly and easily. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the new notification model released within the version 9.11, which is a powerful tool to enhance the communication within your applications. So before I start showing you how the notification model is configured within a script cases interface, I'm going to show a generated one so we can see all the features that it has. And then I go to a script case development interface and we are going to see the step-by-step -step to create it. It's very simple, but then I'll first demonstrate here all the features that it has. So uh, it's integrated with the secured model and responsive menu. And then we can have here the secured, I've applied a secured model and I've created in this case, uh, two groups, the default groups from secured model, admin and group default and inside the group default i've applied one user so i have this user marcia inside the default group and i have the admin which is the only one within the admin group the secret model by default the notification model sorry by default is available for the admin group all the applications will be available for the admin group like the application to send notification for example will be available for this uh, user and group. But this is a rule from, from the system. You can modify and apply it for other groups according to your secured model. But I will demonstrate here how it's set by default. So I'm going to add a demo test message. Okay, you can apply here images. It's an um, HTML field. So you are able to apply here links, uh, images as you want. You can also modify this inside the application. Then we have here the recipients. You're going to choose if it's all users from the system, including the admin, if it's going to be profile or customize it. Okay. These two options are going to be very important, especially the profile one because then you are able to use customized profiles and also you are going to have a macro called SC underscore notification that you are going to be able to use this macro to send notifications by the system. For example, a notification after a, a purchase or any other event you have inside the system. So uh, you are able to use it with the profiles. You can add new profiles and this profile will be available here for you to add users or groups customize it as you want so it works like the custom option but with the profile you can pre-save the the custom options it's something like this if i want to send here just using the custom option uh, i'm going to add here a group or groups and user or users okay so let's see, for example, I want to send to the uh, admin group, uh, sorry, to the default group. However, I want to send also to the admin user. It's not going to be sent to all users from admin group, but only for the admin. Uh, this is an option we have here. You have this to P message to top. So you can use this option if needed and expiration date. It accepts only date and time in the future. And also a, a link. If you want to use here this, you can add also uh, a link. Here inside the message, you'll be able also to add a link. Then send notification and the notification will be sent. In this case, also include the including the admin, as we can see here. Then you have uh, the notification box. You can check all the notifications. Uh, as we can see, the message is pinned on top. You have here the option to uh, mark all as field. We have just one unread. I can read here. Okay. And I can also access the notification list. So here we can also read the notification. We can um, apply tags, check as unread, delete, or 
check as important okay then you can see we can see here only important uh, notifications we can use a advanced search but reminding that you have a grid application it's you are able to modify as well then we have notifications outbox where we can see the ones we've sent um, you can see here more information about who sent the date date read uh, you can see the option to copy, delete, and here see details. Uh, then you have the option tags, where you can apply tags according to your system. You'll be able to add here new tags, apply a color, and then you can apply this tag also uh, per user. You can use the tags to just apply inside the notification list as you want. So you can choose here one tag or add more tags. In this case here, we can use the test one and you can choose some options. So for example, save this uh, default tags for message from admin, apply tags to messages already created. You can also apply the tags according to the user. So for example, every time I receive a message from admin, I'll have this tag already applied to this uh, user. So as we can see uh, in this case here, we have already this tag important to admin user. And finally, you have, we have preferences where we can set uh, if the message will be received also by email or SMS we can set the api during the creation we are going to see the creation i'm going to uh, also log here as um, masia i have already this logged as masia we have the messages and it's different when you are logged as a user because then you have only here the option to see the notification list with the tags and etc uh, the option to create tags and to define tags per user okay so by default users that are not inside the admin group will not be able to send notifications but you can change this rule let's test here again i'm going to put here side by side okay we can see both uh, users on the same screen let's send again the notification test i will add here test live uh, custom again only to the user Marcia P message and date whatever send notification so we can see that the user will receive the notification in real time and we can see here the notification we have to pin it I can check the notification and I'll be receiving uh, also this notification by email because as we can see here inside the preferences, uh, the email is activated with the API. So I can see here inside my email that I have also the notification. We have in this case two, this one for the first. So now let's jump to the development interface so we can see how to create the notification model. I will first create a security model. So I have here this project demo notification with zero applications. I have only created uh, the project and I'll start by adding the security model. It's important to have the security so you can integrate with the notification let's create here the security model quickly i will not um, detail here the options we have also videos explaining the security model it's just important to know that a menu will be created here i will set as ver uh, vertical then we are going to have the login options i will just apply here a login screen to test we have the options captcha uh, languages okay 
and mail settings it's important we can apply here a an api so i have already this api for mondrio you can add more apis for email in this case we have here smtp mondrio and amazon and sms we have twilio uh, plivo and clickatel those are the default options from script case so in this case i have already a api an api mondrio here and i will apply this one so the system can send and receive emails so users okay we are going to create here the group default uh 2fa we can also use the same api in this case we are talking about the security model logged users uh, okay we are adding here the admin the first user to the group admin and applying to all applications okay so let's create the secured model you're not you don't need to save if you don't want to generate i will close this one and we are going to see the new one we are creating here with 21 applications okay now we are going to run and here we have let's enter as admin and we have here the security options and there was a change also within the security model we have removed the option uh, is it and we are applying now to the user menu so we have here the option logout change password and edit profile so this edit profile is also a new application we have added to the secured model. So here now you can, for example, an image to the admin. And let me try here again. It will be applied here. And all the options from secured that you already have, we can see here the users list. I can add a new user here we can set the the group of this user okay username let's add, add this Marcia this user will be part of the default group so now we have two different users same case that we did in the example I was showing you before okay so we have admin and Marcia two different users inside two different groups so this is my system and i'll be now creating the notification model it's important to have the security because then you can integrate okay the creation of the notification model is similar to the security you're going to choose here the connection prefix uh, to the tables um, the option here to use existing tables or create the tables then you have the association with the secured model user table you have here the security users group table, the security groups. It is already recognizing the security tables and associating here with the notification model. Then you have the settings. The first one, uh, prefix. We are applying here the prefix for the applications that will be created for the notification model and the folder. Same way we do with the security model. We are going to create a folder to apply the applications and also apply this prefix to the applications. Team for the applications, log model if you want to integrate with the log, which is available here. In this case, we are not using. And menu application, we've created one during the security model, so you can apply here or create from scratch same option that we have also within the security then email settings you can apply here the same as the security model you can customize and apply here smtp for example 
or you can uh, use a, a an API. Let's use this option to use the same as the security model because we have already applied the Mondrew API in the security model. So same thing for SMS. You can, um, in this case, you have to add in one API and attach here. So you'll be able to send notifications also by SMS. And the last option, insert applications. If you are going to add the notification model applications to the security model in this case. So uh, checking this option, all applications that will be created for the notification model will be included to the security model. It's important because we have already created the security model, so it's going to synchronize. Then to generate the notification, very simple. Uh, in this case here, you need to save the profile because if you are using the macro, you are going to uh, need to have this option, save it. So I'm going to save here as a test project level. You have project, public and user. Okay. Then we generate the source code. 12 applications are being created. Okay, then we can close to see the applications. As we can see, we have all the applications with the prefix we've defined it. We have the folder with the notification applications and we have the folder with uh, security applications, including the login screen, uh, menu application and everything. So let's run again the login screen as admin. So now we can see that we have here notification options, send notification, all the options we were testing before. I will make here a new test. So we can see if the notification system is uh, working. Okay, we can see we've, re we've received the test. It's here, the message. We can see the notification list and everything we've already saw in the other system. Back here to the development environment. As I said, all the applications are basically grids and forms. If you want to customize them, you can do it. So as I mentioned, we have also the macro SC underscore notification. There is a video just for you to see how the macro works. You will find here the link somewhere on the description. Basically, this is how the notification model works. It is perfect solution for keeping your users informed and connected within your applications for security systems uh, updates or user communication. And script case ensures your notifications are delivered efficiently and securely. So very handy the system. If you're new to a script case, now is the perfect time to explore the, the features. Download and test for free today. Discover how the notification model and many other tools can simplify your development process and enhance your applications. So download and try for free. Thank you very much for watching this video. I see you next time.